Hello friends, this is Yash Kumar from Aditya Greens. Well, I have designed the Techno-Economic Feasibility Spreadsheet, especially for those owners who are interested in having a solar system at their rooftop. So cutting short, let's start the journey. The first section is the introduction. Introduction details you about the basic terms and definitions about designing the solar power system. And you should know before installing a solar roof at your home. The next section is select your location. As you all know that solar energy is available at every point on the surface of the earth. But its intensity varies from location to location. To know the solar intensity at your location, you first need to select your country and then your state. Say for example, you live in United States of America and your state is say Arizona. Here it is. This chart displays the solar radiations in the different months of the year. Some months are having high amount of solar radiations while other months are having low amount of solar radiations. Actually, the solar radiation plays a very important role in designing a solar power system. A good amount of solar radiations will cost your system less while a low amount of solar radiations will cost you more. Next is calculate your load. Every electrical appliance that you have in your home is associated with some amount of power rating. You can select any number of electrical appliances that you want to run on solar power. Say for example, I am selecting table fan CFL bulb window AC all uh, four electrical appliances I want to run on solar power the watt of these electrical appliances are as table fan 32 watts my CFL is 30 watts bulb is 80 watts window AC is 1800 watts you provide the quantity of electrical appliances say table fan 6 in numbers CFL 10 in numbers bulb 6 in numbers window AC 1 in number 2772 watts is the total amount of power that a solar system must provide the next section is energy consumption here you need to provide the average usage of the electrical appliances in a day Say for example, you run table fan, say for 6 hours in a day, CFL 5 hours in a day, bulb 4 hours in a day, AC 2 hours in a day. So total energy consumption by your electrical appliances is 8172 watt hour. This is the amount of energy that must be produced by the solar panels to fulfill your energy needs. Next section is sizing and cost. This section lets you know the complete configuration of a solar power system in terms of sizing of the solar panels, rating of inverter in BA, charge controller rating in amperes and battery capacity in ampere hours. While the other section, the costing of the system will have an option to enter the cost of each component in your solar power system. You also have an option to enter the rebate or tax credit provided by the government authorities. Let's say rebate by the utility company is $1000, tax credit by the central government is 30%, tax credit by the state is 25% of the total cost of the system. Here it comes. The average cost per unit comes out to be, after incentive comes out to be 1.551 watts USD. The next is energy chart. The energy chart displays the performance of a solar power system in the different months of the year. Some months will be producing more energy than the required energy, while in other months the system will be energy deficit. The excess energy from the solar system can be fed to the grid through net metering and you get the credit for those units. And when there is shortage of energy, it can be taken from the grid. Next section is the feasibility of your solar power system. This section lets you know the complete techno-economic viability of your system. 
but prior to that you need to provide input first is enter per unit grid rate of electricity let's say uh, per unit rate of grid electricity is 0.22 dollars per unit please enter expected increase in the grid rate per year let's say the increase in grid rate per year is 4% maintenance cost of the system is 0.5% of the total cost of the system as i am not using any battery so the maintenance cost is within 0.5% of the total cost of the system enter your expected rate of return or, or the total or the cost of capital i am expecting my system to give me at least 14% of the return so i am entering 14% here it comes the result is your solar power system is feasible your system rating is 4.9 out of 5 remarks very good amount of solar radiations solar electricity is very cost effective as IRR is greater than cost of capital this is IRR this is cost of capital very good incentive the IRR is well of the cost of capital and the maintenance cost is within limits maintenance cost is 0.5 percent of the total cost of the system so as you can see that how this spreadsheet calculates the complete viability of your solar power system. So I must recommend this spreadsheet to all those owners who are about to install solar system at their rooftop as it will enable you to take a wiser decision. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.